How's it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, what I thought we'd do is talk about some strong link triangles in FIFA 20. Uh, as you guys know, uh, for a lot of people, they like to start in formations like the 4-3-3, 4-3-2-1. Makes it a lot easier to get chemistry and whatnot. So I thought we'd talk about some very good strong link triangles for chemistry that will get players on full chemistry and also be great in game. Uh, if you guys don't know what a strong link triangle is, it's it's three players in a triangle uh whether that be a triangle that that's you know right back center back or center mid whether that be right back right wing center mid cam and the two strikers they form a triangle to essentially make all three of them on full chemistry um and it just works really well in foot squad so i thought we'd talk about that in today's video if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here we're so close to 100k i mentioned every video but we really are so close i'd be grateful if you guys could sub and get me just one step closer to my all-time goal of 100,000 subs. I really appreciate all the support. So without further ado, let's jump into some strong link triangles. We're going to start off with a relatively cheap triangle here. It's actually the uh, the Ajax triangle going at left back, left wing and centre mid. Uh, we have got a left back Tagliafico, a left wing Promes and at centre mid Van der Beek. Now these ratings are semi-confirmed. They've been confirmed by the accounts on Twitter that find the leaks. For example, Foot Donk. Foot Spy, uh, Foot 20 News to name three. Three very good accounts that you guys should fo uh, definitely follow on Twitter. Uh, they've been tweeting out ra uh, leaked ratings. Now, these could be changed with the lead up to FIFA 20. They could stay the exact same. Players could change up until literally the day before release. Like, that's how EA do it. Um, so, I thought that we'd, uh, we, we'd give them the ratings that they've been leaked to have so far. And if they change, they change. If they don't, then happy days. So, uh, Tagliafico with an 82 rated left back card. Van der Beek with an 81 rated cam, which actually is non-rare. Uh, but I don't have a non-rare card, sadly. So, I had to put it on a rare card. Uh, and then we have Quincy Promes. Obviously, the five-star skiller just transferred from Sevilla. Um, and I'm looking forward to using this triangle. I think this will be a great triangle for cheaper teams at the start of the game. Uh, I think it'd be great to have sort of hybrids. If you have some Dutch players you want to link in. For example, Genie Wijnaldum would be great to link in here across the midfield. Uh, Frankie De Jong at Barca would be a great link. Uh, Delict at Piemonte Calcio or, you know, Juventus <laughs> will be a great link there at left hand back to get the uh, orange link from Van der Beek and Delict. And of course, all three will get full chemistry if you go with just dead links across the board as well. I think it'll be a great uh, triangle and I will definitely be trying this card. Uh, sorry, this triangle out with all three of these cards. I think that it actually looks pretty good for a cheaper team. And let me know down below if you are going to use any of these. I'd love to hear your opinion. I think this one will be a little bit more expensive. It is the Atletico Madrid uh, triangle of Felipe Arias and Saul. Uh, now, players can be changed here. You can have Hector Herrera at your centre mid spot. You can have uh, Raul Jimenez at your centre uh, back spot. You can have Vasalco or Kieran Trippier at your right back spot. These are really good because they're interchangeable and a lot of fun that way as well. Um, so I think all three of these cards, I don't think they'll be ridiculously expensive. I think they'll be a little bit expensive at the start of the game. But again, it's it's one of the cheaper options of this video uh, and it works really well. And it allows you then to have a Brazilian goalkeeper and possibly go out to the Premier League if you use Edison or Alisson in, not, uh, in, Noel, in goal. Uh, or it allows you to get a strong link in goal, for example, Oblak or... Uh, uh, Neto you can use there as well so uh, it allows you to have all those different options for goalkeeper and then moving on to the left side of the pitch and you can just stay the same in the Liga or you can go with with like I said red links everywhere um, and you can actually move on and go with completely different leagues and all three of these players will stay on full chemistry. You'll notice that I'm not singling out specific formations in this video because these work really well with any formation that has that triangle in it for example uh, the 4-3-3-3 three, three, three and 4th variation both have this triangle. The 4-3-2-1 has this triangle as well. The 4-3-1-2 has this triangle. Um, I believe the... Actually, I think that's it. I think it's just those formations. But However, they're great for chemistry, actually. Um, and I think a lot of people this year started, for example, in the 4-3-3 first variation. Because I know a lot of people got that perfect link between Ronaldo and Cancelo and then moved in-game with Custom Tactics into a better formation of their choosing. I think that's why Custom Tactics are one of the best features in FIFA. Teetering on the expensive side, I think Frankie Young will definitely be expensive this year. It is Nelson Semedo, Lenglet, and Frankie De Jong. Uh, like I said, I think Frankie De Jong will definitely be expensive. I've seen Lenglet's upgrade card and it looks really good. I can see him being quite hyperinflated for the start of the year. Uh, and again, what's great about this is you can actually go to the other side of the pitch and have Lenglet at left centre back. Uh, you can have uh, Frankie De Jong at left centre mid, and then you can have like Jordi Alba or Furpo at left back. Or you can actually cheapen it down as well. You can maybe use 
use. I think Umtiti got a downgrade, and I think he'll be less than Lenglet despite being a little bit higher rated still because he's got less pace at the start of the year. Um, or you could use Vidal, for example. I think Vidal's had a bit of a downgrade. I think Rakitic will be less than uh, Frankie De Jong at the start of the year as well. Uh, you can use a lot of different options here, and it just allows you for uh, for a decent link. And of course, if you really wanted to, you could have the Ajax left uh, diamond. You could have the the uh, FC Barcelona right diamond, and then you can link them up with like I don't know. Wijnaldum in the middle. You can have a really cool Dutch link there. So uh, it's really, really cool. And I think that it'll be a great, a great triangle for you guys to try out. On the cheaper side now, it's actually some overpowered players that we are getting in FIFA 20. Now, the Akanji upgrade looks incredible. Uh, Hakimi's had an upgrade and moved over to the left. And of course, Delaney, who's usually pretty solid in FIFA anyway. Um, I think this will be a great solid starter triangle for FIFA 20. Um, and if you guys are going to run like a Bundesliga t uh, team or you just want a nice left side, I think this will be the new uh, Boateng, Alaba and Vidal link from like FIFA 16. Um, although it's just a little bit cheaper and a little bit less rated, I think it'd be great for starter squads. And I can see a lot of people using it as well because I think like... By the looks of things, they they are going to be solid cards. Like Hakimi looks like a great card. Akanji looks phenomenal for an 82 rated card. And Delaney's looking pretty saucy as well. So hopefully they're going to be uh, relatively cheap and relatively affordable for a lot of people. Even though cheap and affordable are pretty much the same thing. Next up with the Leipzig uh, triangle here of Campbell at a sentiment spot. And then Konate and Upamencano. Um, Konate's card looks really, really good. Upamencano's had a downgrade. However... I believe, in fact, has he had a downgrade and upgrade? I think he had an upgrade, actually. But apparently, like, his stats look like he's had a downgrade. Very strange one. Uh, and then Kevin Campbell, whose rating isn't actually confirmed, but I've given it an 83 because I think he had a pretty decent season last season. Um, and, of course, got into the Bundesliga team of the season. Um, but I think this will be a really good unorthodox triangle. I can't see a lot of people using this one. However, the perfect link with Konate and Upamancano allows for, for example, a Lloris in goal or um, an Areola in net or someone like that. Um, and then, of course, you have uh, Campbell, who... I don't I don't think it'll be used that much and i don't think will be very expensive uh, however always has a pretty solid card i really enjoyed him last year um in a starter squad i thought he was actually really good i believe he has four star four star and decent dribbling and passing which makes for a decent all-round midfielder going forward so uh, i can see this actually being used a little bit but not as much as you may think and it will probably be pretty overpowered as well for starter squads so this is more of a cheaper option and a really good one at that the next one is a lesser version of what could be so it is actually a big transfer all-round one uh it is uh, Mendy, Eder Militao, and Valverde. I believe that's how you say his name. Um, now, Valverde's actually had a big upgrade from like 73 up to 77, which is quite a big upgrade. Um, and then Mendy and Eder Militao, sort of similar ratings from their, uh, their last year cards. I can see Eder Militao having a fantastic centre-back card as well, um, which I'm excited to use. And I think that this will be one of a couple of variants of this. So, you, for example, you could have Marcelo at left-back. You can have Cruz at centre-mid. You can have uh ramos uh, left center back uh also there is another variation that i've got for you guys you guys will see later down the line in the video as well um but it's really interchangeable and works really well you got those branches off to the for example uh goalkeeper of brazilian or, or right center back brazilian uh, and you can move into different leagues there um you've got the french left back so you can move up to like for example a french left winger or you could get even just a french left center mid and valverde could not play and you could work on getting another link for Eder militao at goalkeeper for for example, Courtois in net. You know, you've got a lot of different options for this one. Um, and I think they're going to be really overpowered players. And I'm looking forward to it as well. Uh, Mendy should have a ridiculous left-back card, given that he had some incredible, incredible cards last year. Four-star skills as well. Re really looking good for what kind of card we are going to get for Mendy. And the same for Edem Letao as well. So I'm looking forward to this triangle. I think it'll be pretty overpowered. I can't see it being ridiculously expensive. I think it'll probably be... I can see Edem Letao being like 40, 50k at the start of the game. Uh, Mendy probably like 50 15, 20, 30k, something like that. Can't see Valverde being expensive at all. Uh, depending on their stats, of course. If if Eder Militao doesn't have like 80 plus pace, he'll be quite a lot cheaper than that. And I think Mendy, if he didn't have ridiculously overpowered stats, he will also be quite cheap considering the La Liga isn't really used that much. So we'll have to see, but I'm looking forward to it. Another diamond. Uh, this one involves the right side, actually. Uh, it is with Cancelo, Rodri and Bernardo Silva. Uh, Cancelo obviously just transferring from Juventus. Rodri just transferring from Atletico. And uh, Bernardo Silva due a huge upgrade given the great season that he's just had. He's such an underrated player in real life. And uh, thankfully, although I'm a Man United fan and it kind of hurts me to say it, 
it. Thankfully, Bernardo Silva is getting the upgrade that he deserves um, in FIFA. And I think it'll be really, really good to use too. Uh, this, this obviously you've got the hyperlink with the right back and the right wing. So theoretically, if you play like a 4-3-3-4, three, three, four, you could actually just have the right wing and right back and then no one else and you'll actually be good for links. Uh, they both have two links out of them, not including each other. So for example, uh, Bernardo Silva has a striker and right centre mid and, uh, and Jao Cancelo will have a right centre back and right centre mid. So you can actually leave them like that and the hyperlink will be perfect or of course you can keep it how it is and go with Rodri as centre mid. I think Rodri will be a really good card. He's like six foot one, six foot two. Uh should have decent pace, decent physical, uh decent passing and decent defending. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to this uh triangle as well. Um, and I think that the possibilities for this will be pretty good. Obviously with Ronaldo being in the game as well at uh, striker again as usual, I think that um, having that Portuguese link will be pretty good as well. Uh, that'll lead to a lot of different hybrids here and there. So I'm looking forward to it. And uh, and yeah, let's move on to the next one. You can't have an It's Hayward video without Man United bias. Here we have the Man United triangle. Now, it's actually more difficult than you may think to do this one. So uh, Luke Shaw has apparently had an upgrade uh, and looks like a pretty decent left back. Harry Maguire has, an has had an upgrade as well. Looks like a decent centre back bar the, the slow pace, but you can switch that out for Lindelof if you want someone a bit faster, uh, a little bit more well-rounded for FIFA. FIFA. And then a centre mid, we actually don't have that many great ones. Now, you could have Pogba, although I think Pogba will be as expensive as he usually is, like six, 700k. Uh, you could have Jesse Lingard, although I don't think Jesse Lingard will be a great option in FIFA. Uh, Juan Mata as well is apparently central again. Again, I don't think Juan Mata will be fantastic. Um, you know, there's a few other options. I think Scott McTominay's got a gold card this year. You could possibly use Scott McTominay, but again... I don't know. Uh, I went with Fred because I feel like Fred's typically quite a well-rounded midfielder for FIFA. Uh, so I did go with Fred there. Um, and it's a pretty decent triangle nonetheless. And again, very interchangeable. You could do it on the right with Aaron wan as opposed to Luke Shaw. Or on the left and just keep Luke Shaw there. It is completely up to you how you do it. Uh, and there's a lot of different options as well. You could also go with, without going with the centre-back. You could go with like Rashford at left wing. Uh, you could go with then Fred and Luke Shaw. You could go with Dan James at left wing. Um, or you could do like, for example, wan right back um and you could go with for example uh i don't know lindelof and scott mctominay there's a lot of different options for it and uh and that's cool about these triangles they're pretty interchangeable i've typically gone with ones that are pretty interchangeable as opposed to ones that are like this one player in each position um and hopefully like that has made it a little bit more accessible. Here is that other Real Madrid triangle I was talking about. The less, uh, sorry, the more expensive one compared to the less expensive one. It is with uh, with Carver Hallett right back, Varane and Modric. Now you could also go with Varane, Mendy and like someone else. And uh, obviously Varane and Mendy get the perfect link. So you don't even need a strong link there. You can also go with like a weaker link and have uh, and have two dead links coming off Varane. Um, but all three of these, apart from actually no, Carver has not had a downgrade, but apparently uh, Varane's downgrade to 85 and uh, Luka Modric had a downgrade to 90 as opposed to 91 which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, I think they'll still be pretty overpowered in FIFA and I'm looking forward to trying them out at least uh, to see how they are. And especially that Varane, if he stays with pretty decent pace, I can see him still being ridiculously overpowered as usual. Coming up to the last two now, this one is actually more of a fantasy as opposed to a real one. Um, now, I don't know if Lucas Moura has got a central card this year or not. Uh, I think he'll probably still be on the right, and I don't know if he's an upgrade or a downgrade either. That's one of the ratings that I've put in there with the hopes. Uh, however, Endombele, I think, is confirmed. Lo Celso is not confirmed either, but this will be a great triangle, and it's a little bit different to usual as well, so it'd be pretty cool to use this triangle. Uh, for example, uh, Lucas at Cam, and then you've got Lo Celso, middle centre mid, and then uh, you've got, I'm um, oh, sorry, CDM even, or Endombele CDM, and then also left centre mid uh, in a 4 one 2 on 2 brackets too. Uh, it worked pretty well in my opinion, but this is one of the two Spurs ones that I've got. The other one's more realistic uh, and actually one of them is confirmed. However... Yeah, I don't know. I think that this will be really, really fun to use. It's more of a fun one, but also probably not going to happen. This is the realistic one. Now, actually, Son's confirmed as a centre forward, and I believe confirmed as 87, although don't quote me on that one. Ericsson's confirmed as 88, and I don't know what Harry Kane's rating is, but this will be phenomenal. Son as centre forward, 87 raid will be absolutely unreal, and I'm so excited to use that card in FIFA 20. It's going to be absolutely fantastic, and I'm really excited for it. Uh, Ericsson should be as good as he always is. He's always ridiculously good on FIFA. Um, Harry Kane the start of the uh, start of FIFA 19 I thoroughly enjoyed so a uh, start of FIFA 20 you should be pretty decent as well but that's it for the strong link triangles if you guys enjoyed these kind of videos and let me know down below with a comment and leaving a like and let me know if you want to see more of these videos I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you later